frankly, it wasn't easy getting through law school. Uh, it's not easy for anybody. A huge consideration when going to law school is how are you going to make this work? <laughs> I really would like students to have the chance to make a choice based upon the vision and dream they have for themselves. There's like a sense that, you know, while we're here, we're going to make this as great as an opportunity for kids as we can. Georgetown's a community of people who love helping each other out, and I'm grateful to be part of it. It's just an amazing place to learn, an amazing place to be. I'm just forever grateful that I was able to be given this opportunity. I'm so blessed. I was born and raised and grew up in Indiana. One of my grandfathers was a farmer, a hog farmer, so I grew up being on the farm. Being a milk truck driver, a milkman as we called it in Indiana in those days, was the job I had in, starting in high school and throughout college. I grew up in uh, New Jersey. I was born in a small town called Neptune, New Jersey. My mom was a registered nurse at a time when women, and particularly women of color, didn't have that kind of position. So her whole focus really was on education. And, and I remember the first gifts I ever received from her were books. I went to DePaul University uh, on a full uh, academic scholarship. The day I graduated from DePauw, I'd already been accepted at Georgetown Law School and some other law schools, some good law schools, but I was real interested in going to Georgetown. Um, I'd always wanted to be a lawyer. No one in my family was a lawyer. I don't quite know where it came from other than I watched Perry Mason. I was a Perry Mason baby. I always wanted to be Perry Mason, have a little drama, you know, in the courtroom. I remember all the surprise witnesses would come in and Perry would have a big surprise and I wanted to be Perry. And that really, you know, activated my interest in the law. And so after uh, NYU, I applied to Georgetown Law School. I drove my 1966 Volkswagen Beetle to Washington, and I had no money. I came here with uh, 200, exactly $200. My dad couldn't believe that I was doing this. I had to work right up until, the, you know, until orientation started, literally. In fact, I think I worked during orientation week just so I could keep the cash flow going. I had to work when I was at school, and I paid the full load myself and taken out loans for undergrad. And for law school, I didn't have enough money for law schools. I had to work, and I went to school full time. So after class, I'd go running to my, you know, my evening job and work. And so I didn't really have the chance to embrace, I think, the fullness of the experience of law school. I have a real interest in helping people who are in financial need because I certainly was one of those people when I was at Georgetown. I know how tough that can be and it's easy for me to help Georgetown and I hope I'll be able to help Georgetown for the rest of my life. I'm dedicated to that. I really would like students to have the chance to make a choice that's not driven by need so they could make one that's more, have more flexibility to choose a career that they want based upon the, you know, the, the vision and dream they have for themselves. And that, that really, I'll tell you honestly, is the reason I give back to Georgetown. You know, a huge consideration when going to law school is you know, how are you going to make this work, <laughs> um, especially if you, know, you don't have a lot of money going in. Being, you know, not having income has been difficult. Going to school and working full time is just such a burden and I was disappointed a lot in the fact that I couldn't engage as much as I wanted to in classes because I was going, I was working during the daytime and I wasn't meeting any other students besides the ones in my section. I didn't have much of a life outside of work and school. And I was very clear when I was talking to people and contemplating law school that I wanted to be able to afford to live on the salary that a public interest lawyer makes after graduating from law school. And I'm extremely grateful for receiving the, the financial aid and the scholarship that I've received because it will enable me to follow my dreams. One of the nice things about scholarship programs like this at, at Georgetown is the fact that you're not often constrained in your career choices about where you need to go, what you have to do. You know, obviously, the lower your debt, the more options that you have, and that, that's something that uh, has allowed me to keep my options open as I go forward to you know, basically do whatever I want to do with my legal degree. 
when I got the scholarship, it was like a burden was being lifted and I was able to more enjoy my time here at the Law Center. I just, I'm so blessed to, to be able to be a recipient of the scholarship that it, it, I don't know if I can put it in words. It's just an amazing opportunity for me. They're, they're, there's like a sense that people here want you to get out and you know see what's around you. They don't expect uh, you know people to have to um, you know to have to do it on their own. There are programs in place, and yeah, I couldn't be um, I couldn't I couldn't be more grateful for the way things worked out. I wouldn't be here without the generous donors um, who give and help students like me. Beyond Georgetown, it's still a community. People are still involved. People still care enough. Um, to give back. Yeah, I give back to Georgetown, but in this case it's easy. Georgetown gave to me first. I didn't know anything about anything that I'm doing right now until I came to Georgetown. Growing up, I was relatively unsophisticated in the, in the world of the law. I didn't know any lawyers. And in the Marine Corps, as a combat arms officer, I knew we had lawyers and I didn't hate them, but we didn't appreciate them the same way maybe that uh, I do now. My wife, um, who's really precious, I had had a wonderful experience as a nanny for two Georgetown lawyers. They treated her like family. She lived with them for years. She took care of their kids. And, and when I said I thought about going to law school, she insisted that Georgetown Law is where these good people went to law school. This is where I needed to go. So we applied to Georgetown. And our first semester, we lived in their basement. The financial aid office um, called me up and, and told me that they wanted me to come here. And, and that they would make it work and I, you know, they understood about how I have a family and a stay-at-home wife and a kid. Well, I was a named scholarship recipient, again, the, the Crane Scholarship. It was a great honor. That named scholarship really allowed us to come through this as a family the way we intended to and come here and have the full experience. I went to school full-time. I was very grateful. And since law school, I, I went directly from uh, Georgetown to Orrick, Carrington, and Sutcliffe where I'm an associate in our global finance group. So for me, it's, it's been a lot of work, um, but I work with outstanding people. All the people I work for spend a lot of time uh, investing in me to teach me things or mentor me. And I've experienced now, looking back since law school, some substantive growth. So I can tell there are actual things I can help clients with now, but I never would have had the opportunity without Georgetown. And I, I recognize that. And as a young professional and as a, a parent and a husband, Georgetown gave to me first. It really is kind of an amazing thing to know that there's people that, um, like me, had such a positive experience at Georgetown that they care enough that they want to be able to make that happen for the next generation and the next generation and the next generation. the shoulders of people who went before us. It's really an opportunity to reach back and pull people forward. And that's another reason that really inspires me to, to be involved at Georgetown as an alum and be able to, you know, in some way open doors that were opened for me.